Io mi ricordo che soprattutto all'inizio um, la maggior parte del gruppo era carichissimo di energia, la sera non aveva mai sonno e <ride> continuava a parlare, a fare festa e io e te eravamo quelli che si ritiravano un po' prima e eravamo a lettuccia a riposarci e poi ci si addormentava, però la mattina eravamo anche le prime a essere giù in cortile insieme a Henry. Eh, io, io, sì. Sì. Fatto, è fatto, è fatto, è fatto, è patito, è patito, è patito, sì. Okay. <ride> Invece io volevo raccontarvi quando c'era Henry Pachito e, sì, e Lia e Walter a cucinare, insomma, mentre il ragazzo non andava alla moschea. Mentre io e te, da bravi uomini, abbiamo preso tutti i panni e, quelli, e li abbiamo piegati in una maniera perfetta, bellissima. E mi ricordo che, il tuo, eh, che io mi sono provato a lasso la gonna di Rebecca e sono andato a giro, tanto non c'era nessuno, a giro con la gonna di Rebecca che era comodissima. <ride> e sarei io e te a ridere a piegare i panni nella maniera più brutta si erano tirati tutti in terra e siamo andati via con passoio del riso e si copriva le mutande perché avevamo paura che ci dicessero qualcosa perché non si potevano appendere quindi si sembrava dei camerieri e si portava le mutande <ride> Palestinian refugees living in this camp since 1948. Before 1948, we were living in Palestine. I was I were about uh, seven years old. This is this is a map for the houses of, the, of our village. Here is our house. My father, his name is Qasim. No. Mm -hmm. This is the street to Tabaria. 
Răstrim tot masă. Sunt în acest timp foarte ieri, nu văd niciodată acest vilege. Nu văd niciodată. În spate de asta, acest vilege este de aici, de la bordă de Palestina, de aici, de la bordă de 22 km. Adică, de la bordă de 20 km, putem ajunge la bordă. Până la urmă, sunt eager să văd partea de acest vilege în care am Uh, were living when I was a child. I was a child about seven years old. But I remember that we were playing, we were living, we were eating, we were uh, uh, dancing, we were singing, we were everything. Now, we are prevented from seeing our country at all. I can't go to Palestine. is miserable. Our life is not uh, a human life. And in this time, life is more difficult than before because some refugees also of Syria entered our camps and it has become uh, full uh, more than its capacity. Yeah. Yeah. la prima volta il campo e senza saperlo però due dei tanti Mohammed ci hanno portato nelle case dei, dei siriani e insomma noi ci sentivamo ah, non a nostro agio e anche se loro ci, ci offrivano di entrare e di sedersi però um, non ci sentivamo nemmeno di fare foto e anche ci potevano fare, ma non, ah, solo alla casa e non a, a loro. E... Quando siamo usciti per la prima volta nel campo per visitare le case dei siriani c'era una ragazza che era già madre di tre figli e che aveva uno sguardo veramente profondo e io sono stata tutto il tempo a guardarla e anche cioè, ci siamo fissate per tutto il tempo 
e anche se non stava ascoltando quello che stava dicendo il signore, insomma ci stava spiegando la sua situazione, era come se, se lei mi stesse raccontando tutta la sua vita e tutti i suoi problemi in quel momento, eppure non so, ma era stupito perché sorrideva, sorrideva sempre, ma era come se, se malinconica, non so. E è stato bello perché non avevo mai guardato così a lungo una persona negli occhi. Il quarto giorno abbiamo iniziato un progetto con dei bambini che non avevano mai preso uno strumento in mano. Molti bambini con cui abbiamo a che fare sono impossibili. Nessuno parla una parola di inglese e non fanno altro che parlare fra di loro e suonare. not accepted in, in many NGOs because they are related to religion. So it is for us, it is a challenge. We, we are facing a challenge in, in, in introducing music in this way to our community. And for us, you know, music is a language. It's the language, you know, it's a new language. They are learning two languages now. It's not, not Arabic, you know, it's not English, you know, it's a language. And we need it. It's part of culture, you know. This is a particular rhythmic that with one, one quarter. This is one. Those children who are now in the camps, living in such condition, bad condition, you know, when they began to even touch a music instrument, it's, it's a new, you know, it's a new. Uh, you think for their life, never they have an instrument, you know, they never at a school, you know, we don't have at an hour school music lessons, so from where they can learn, if we could not give them the chance to learn. <laughs> Children, they have the right to, to learn everything. Even if they learn bad things, they should know it's bad, so next time they should avoid it, even the bad things. This is why we are trying to spread uh, this uh, 
subject and all our centers and all our communities. Now I think we succeed in all the camps except in Ba'alba. We don't have the instructor, we don't have the budget for that. Yeah. But I hope that in the future also Ba'alba will join. Uh, like all the others, we cannot uh, discriminate, you know. What you are uh, doing in uh, FGC uh, is so important B because we are the only uh, NGO who has those centers who are dealing in mental health. They are using uh, music as part of the program. Uh, and I think the social workers who are now under training will reflect what they are learning to their daily work, which is needed. So it's highly appreciated from our side, uh, this work. And we hope that we can continue and improve. Uh, and I feel that uh, how, how it's important, how the staff are changing, you know. Because the most important is to, to make a change in the mentality of the sound. <laughs> Therapy is one one of the different methods we are we are using with the children uh, we receive at the family garden center. We we with some cases we have to use other ways maybe, but music therapy until now proved to be uh, efficient with uh, with some cases like autism, like uh, behavioral disorders, and for sure uh, our our long term objective is to be uh, self sufficient. Because uh, when we have to rely on external assistance, uh, this cannot be insured, or it is insured for a certain period and not for the long term. So I know you work under stress and it's difficult situations, but think about the children and what we are wanting to signal to them, that we are preparing that we are careful, and it's something special that they are coming to. So we need to be ready. When you invite someone to your house, you don't leave it like this. You first tidy up, you get everything ready, and then you say, We had uh, uh, trainings where with diff different professionals from different backgrounds and different schools. And it was also very enriching for us because we could see that there is not one way to work in music therapy, but um, many ways. Uh, we can adjust, we can adapt, we can take what is uh, uh, the most beneficial for the cases we are working with. Mm. Concerning the musical aspect, because uh, none of the participants except one has this musical uh, uh, background, uh, we felt that there was a gap at that level and the, the training we had, for example, with uh, some professionals from Prima Materia like Henry, Ilaria, Simone, uh, was also very useful, but it is not enough and uh, for sure we have to work on that level.
Good. We can make music with whatever we have to have. And I think this is maybe something that is useful to, to try in situations where you do not have much possibility to have many equipment. But the most important instrument that we have is ourselves. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, it is uh, very important with children, with, with all of us, also as adults, uh, that we uh, actually learn to understand our voice and what it, our musical instrument, which can also be percussion, uh, but obviously the most expressive part of us is our voice. The center work with musical therapy with Deborah. What I can say? So there is a big change. Really. I don't know to see what to say. I see, I noticed from one year to now, they, uh, there is many changes in the, in the child uh, uh, active and the child behaviors and the child understanding and the child communicating with you, how to communicate, how to look at your eyes, with your eyes, uh, how to be. Um, uh, comfortable, as I said before. Yeah, this take a, a big, 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 big question in myself. What is the magic in music? Yes. صارت هاي القصة أكثر شيء تأثر عليها لما فاتت على المدرسة لما خلصت من الروضة فاتت على المدرسة. يعني بتحكيها الناس ما بترد ما بتقرب كيف هلا بدنا بالصف ما بتشارك. عندي بالبيت بتحكي معي ما بتحكي إلا معي أنا بالمدرسة ولا شيء. هلا شو اسمها هيدا الأنية سارة؟ اسمها بيانو. شو اسمها؟ الأنية شو اسمها؟ بيانو. قبل درس شو عندك بالدرس؟ ولا حتى بدرس تاع. اقرأي ما فحولوا لي المدرسة لهذا المركز، جيت هون عند الأخصائي والفسيرة وقال لك لي ممكن خلينا نبلش مع دروس موسيقى بتقعد مع شخص أول مرة بتشوفه ونشوف إذا بتتجاوب ولا لأ. قلت لها أنا لما إجيت على أساس إنه صعوبات تعليمية إن أحطها إنه عم بتعاني كمان بالمشكلة بالدراسة. قالت لي خلينا نبلش بالموسيقى ونشوفها بتقدر تتجاوب بتصير تحكي مع المعلمة تبعيتها. فأنا يعني بين اه بين لا قلت انه الموسيقى ما حتستفيد بس كثير استفادت يعني من اول مره ما تنسى تحكي مع ليان آه وصارت كثير تحب الموعد اللي احنا عم ناخذه وتسال عنه كل يوم انه وانت بتيجي نهار الجمعه لاجل الموعد توكينج اباوت ذا فاميلي جاردن سنتر اتس ا مينتال هيلث انترفنشن وي ار دوينج we are the only specialized institution with a team of professionals recognized and part of our work is psychosocial. لدرجة انه كانت تقول لي انه اي شيء بدي اجيب لها اياه هي بدها تشوفه هي قبل انا حسيت انه تعلقها فيها صار مش انه نوعنا بصف باي شخص دغري ولا بتتح لاي شخص دغري ارتحت معها كثير واحنا كنا نرتاحين لهي النقطة لانه لو صار ما ارتحت معها يمكن انا ما رح اقدر اكتب في الموضوع شو شو وعند زيارة اليوم اجينا ما كان ليان موجودة كانت تتعصب تبكي تتضايق تجي لهون بتكون اليوم احنا اجينا كان عدل كان في عدل عمار واحنا ما منتبهين كان كثير كانت تحب ليان انا ارتحت كثير وسارة ارتحت كثير هون كانت كثير مبسوطة حتى لما خلصنا كان عندي 12 جلسة لما خلصنا سارة صارت تبكي 
تقول لي منيجي نهار الجمعه بس بنسلم عليها وبنفهم انا بس عشان حبيتها كثير كنا مبسوطين وانا كثير بشكرهم على البرنامج يعني اللي عملوه بصراحه ما كنت متوقعه انها تستفيد قلت شو رح يعملوا لي يعني بس لما حكيتها قلت لي رح تستفيد ورح ان شاء الله تصير تتواصل مع العالم تصير اجتماعيه اكثر انا كثير مرتاحه وبنتي كثير مرتاحه Uh, why we believe that music therapy is essential because took, I, I talk about my experience while working with, with the children I discovered how many of them they, ha they are talented in music and they like music and when we teach them music or we, uh, we make them more sensitive to music I think we open their eyes on something different, not only on weapons, not only on war, not only on conflicts, but on something that is beautiful, that is nice, and that could give them a lot of satisfaction. <laughs> Maybe teaching music is something important for the Palestinian people, because we don't have many Palestinians who are learning in music like you. And I think one of the aims of the visit that now you should return back to your families, to your parents, to your friends, to your country, and you should respect what they are offering you. Compare it to the Palestinian camp. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.